wonder if candidates' arms could get such a workout at a presidential debate. All that pointing and waving and pumping. Then the strenuous stuff starts. Pick me. All of you speak. Senator Harris. Guys in their 70s have to act like seven-year-olds trying to get called on. we got to talk about one other thing, because... It is wrong. We're going to turn it. It is wrong. It's no longer possible, of course. But it was Joe Biden's finger that got the most exercise, hesitantly upraised. A woman has the right to control her own body. Then wandering the to the chin, hoping to be picked. The Senator, United I'm States give of America. America. Then detouring to the nose. But this was the real action. And this is going to be a show of hands. And hold them up for a moment. Who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Up went two hands, and what about Joe Biden's finger? It was as if Joe were peeking at what the others did before deciding himself. On two of three such shows of hands, moderators were befuddled by that finger. I believe at the show of hands you did not raise your hand. Did you raise your hand? No, I did. I, okay, but... sorry, sorry. Uh, if I had the right answer, I did. <laughs> there it was again. Without documentation. The wavering finger. Mr. Vice President, I don't know if you raised your hand or were just asking to speak. Someone compared Joe to patients voting on whether to watch the World Series in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Come on. After the debate, Kamala Harris took back one of her votes, saying she misinterpreted the question. There were lethal arms on stage. I'm going to hold you to 30. Look, the old ways. Joe flinching at Bernie's flailing arm became a gif. But if he wants to get to Pennsylvania Avenue, maybe Joe should listen to Sesame Street. Raise your hand up. Hey! Or at least your finger. Genie Moose, CNN. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up.